come back. Achievers. <laughs> Thank you. I, I want you to know that was not planned at all. I just sometimes do random stuff, and he knows exactly what to do. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of March 31st. Mm-hmm. This is the last mm-hmm. day of the month. We're already in March. Yes, it is. Oblivion is coming ever closer for everyone involved. Mm-hmm. Today is like one of the best days in my life. Why is that? Man, that movie, the Godzilla. No, versus Kong. okay. I was like, did I miss an event? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. yeah, it's, it's, just a no, movie. it's Godzilla. Was just I, I watched it this morning. I was having fun with that. Was movie, it good? Man. I I feel like some people are gonna talk like like crap about it because it's like, oh, it's not good. I enjoyed it because but because I'm a sci-fi monster. It's it's a typical monster, you know, fighting movie. Uh, because um, I think what's... Alex just accidentally slipped up. Like a Floridian slip. He just told us he's a monster. Oh, God. Yeah. So we know. Now we know. Are you Ultraman? You like that? Are you a fan of that guy? Ultraman? Yeah, he's like he's like a Godzilla, but a dude, I think, or something. He has like a suit. He fights Got people. it. Got it. Yeah, I remember. I remember he's like a kaiju b- man, I guess. I don't know. I, Maybe I, it's an alien. I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. And I like how my guy's behind that. We were doing so good. We were. It's okay. It's the okay. achievers yeah. know we're still working the kinks out. We, we look better. Yeah, yeah. But you know, there has to always be an issue, or yeah, it, well, it wouldn't be in an easy achiever podcast if it no, wasn't always sure. an issue, right? For sure, for sure. Yeah, be eventually, something. eventually it would be good. I mean, I, I this whole last couple of days I've had to deal with you know internet providers. You know how that whole how that works. Mm-hmm. We all have a Comcast nightmare, right? Oh, luckily yeah. yours kind of fixed. Sort of. It said it did. I mean, well, it said it. Every, I, I'm getting all. I'm getting everything. All my speeds. I'm getting everything. But now I'm gotta wait for the X Pod thing, the X Five Pod. The way it's like a Wi-Fi booster, mm. so I can put it back here. In and, and yeah. I think we might help. Good after that. Yeah, it might yeah. help, right? It sh- it should it should. Well, we're not a customer service grievance podcast now. No, no, no we're no, not. No, no, we're a video gaming podcast where we come to you every single Friday. Sometimes where we come to you Sometimes. and give you all the news you need to know what we think we need to know, I guess. If we don't think you need to know it, we won't tell you. So it's on you whether or not you believe us, I guess. Mm-hmm. But we're here for you. And if you like that, oh boy, get ready, sit back. You have so many ways. First off, you can go free because we know you, money's tight. We get it, right? You can go Ooh, over. Goodness. What 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 happened? Sorry, no, sorry. All I heard was the baby. So I was gonna say, excuse the baby in the background. Oh, you're fine. They under nuts. they understand. They understand. Yeah. My, my, what like probably one out of ten people who are listening to this right now have a child. They're like, oh, they probably yeah, had a yeah, flashback. Yeah. They're like, oh, God. It's, like, it's like PTSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh God, like looking for the baby real quick to to grab. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but no. If you want to support freely, don't worry. You can. It's easy. Like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube video that if you're watching on YouTube, if on a podcast service, it's even easier. Five star review. That's right. Five stars, everyone. It's mm-hmm. a five star. That helps the algorithms. I don't really care if you think we're a five star podcast, but you're helping us with it anyways. Do you understand? All right. Make it clear for the algorithms that we're good. So other people can get listen. Other people can be achievers. If you're flush with cash, and by flush with cash, you have literally pennies a day. You can go over mm-hmm. to patreon.com give us a dollar that's every month one dollar comes out of your account and is given to us that's one dollar that's pennies a day and that helps us out tremendously you can get plenty of tiers on there as well there's different tiers you can look at there you can also use a special service it's one of our most popular it's the patreon dming service you can dm us there give a question comment concern thought and or an idea and you'll be included in the show alex mm-hmm You've been so patiently waiting. I want you to thank you. Mm-hmm, Second mm-hmm. thing I want to ask you. Mm. What have you been playing? Uh, let's see. I got you in the ropes of playing League of Legends. <sighs> boy, yes, you did. You, and boy, you've been enjoying it. Yes, you did. Now, a little bit of background, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you, you've you heard from last week. Alex got a new PC. We've been playing together a little bit. Kind of giving the ropes. Mm-hmm. We played Valorant. We talked about that. Not going to talk about that again. We played Star Wars. Talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. Again. But 
Alex, I've always been playing this game called League of Legends. I always used to make fun of it because I didn't understand it. Um, <laughs> you basically need a PhD in the game to really figure what it, what it, what's going on in the game. But it is, my God, so fun. Again, I've always made fun of it hilariously because it's, I mean, come on, look at, look at the game. It's hilarious to make fun of. But it is beyond fun. And I mean beyond fun. I love it. It's very unique. I don't know. I mean, I know there's this smite and all of that that are kind of similar. Mm -hmm. But my God, it's so good. Also, Alex, if you need to step away, don't be don't be afraid. Yeah, the achievers um, can. Let me, can let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make go, sure go, you go, know go do some okay. reconnaissance for us. I'll be back. Go do some reconnaissance. We're gonna hit. Yeah, if you yeah, want, right? if you want, hit that mute button just in case you gotta like say something. You know. But. Now it's just you and me, Achievers. We want to make sure the baby's okay, okay? Now, you might be asking, like, why don't you just edit around this? I don't know how to edit. I also don't have the money. Now, if anyone has, like, a good free editing software that is, like, actually free, or is just a little less expensive than that uh, Adobe Premium, hit us up with it. I will definitely use it. I, I want to learn how to edit, too. Something I'd love to do. So, so is there any fellow video editors out there that... Are like me and I don't have a lot of money right now. Hit us up. No, I want to keep talking about this this league game. If if you know what it is, I won't bore anyone who doesn't care about league too long. I just want to very quickly say, super popular, incredibly difficult to master, but easy to pick up. I think I have never played a MOBA, which is a oh god, what is it? A massive online battle arena. I think is what it's called. Essentially, there's like a bunch of this is a big area that you go and you play around and, and fight certain characters. And it's 5v5 in the normal match. And you go through, you pick out of, I think, like over 100 people. There's like 100 characters in the game you can be of. They're all very unique, which is surprising. You'd think all these people. I haven't yet to see someone that's super similar. And that's very impressive uh, just by itself of how unique the game is. I'm enjoying my time with it and I'm enjoying how much... It's grabbed me because I've in the span of like three days, I think I've dropped at least what I mean, six, eight hours. And I mean, that's a good that's a good bit of time, especially with with the time I'm allowed it right now. But it is super fun. And I can't wait to start really learning the minutia of the game. Maybe we'll have a just a League of Legends like episode just talking about that. It's so much fun, but it's also incredibly complicated. Um, I want to introduce you guys to something semi new today. We we do this every week where we're like kind of I just kind of throw you a couple news stories I didn't really want to cover. This is one of them, and and we're calling it "Is this worth your time?" We don't think so. So this isn't worth your time. So one of these things, it's not worth your time. We're very quickly cyberpunk is yet again in the news, and I don't want to talk about them again. So I'm just going to give you like the brass tacks of what. Hello, Alex. We're we're going over is is this worth your time right now? Mm, gotcha. And the one that's not worth your time this month, I don't think, Cyberpunk. We don't need to talk about this again. I will give you the top things you need to know. Number one, over the next year, they're going to simultaneously make a sequel, I believe, to Cyberpunk and Witcher at the same time. Um, as, mm -hmm. as well as they're making DLC, as well they're making um, the next-gen edition of Witcher. Uh, they will re-release it on the new systems with upgrades and all of that. That is releasing, I believe, the latter half of this year. And I believe that's everything. They are announced Cyberpunk kind of roadmap, sort of. They like said the new patch is coming. The uh, free DLC is coming. I don't think anything had dates or any hard dates at all. It was just kind of, it might be here soon-ish, kind of, whatever. Mm. So... That's all, Alex. Did you see anything that you particularly were interested about? Any of that? And this is about the cyberpunk. Yeah, any of the cyberpunk, and you know, The Witcher mm -hmm. with the free upgrade on that. Of course, I'm excited for that. But I, everything yeah, else, I'm like, eh. I'll definitely try the do the free upgrade because uh, I mean, I'm assuming what, since there's an upgrade, there's gonna be new achievements, and I'll be done. It's been a while. What was it? 2015 is when 15, Witcher came out. 15, yep. Yeah, 2015, because that was Giga Game of the Year that year. Yeah. So um, I think I finished it in 2016. So, I mean, it's been a couple of years. I, I'm down to go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other than that, I mean, Cyberpunk, I played it. I, I think it's gone. Yeah. 
for me. And as they come out with like, if there's any story DLCs or anything like that, which yeah, they I don't just know said they free DLC. That's all they said. Yeah, and also they, they haven't they, referenced mm. the multiplayer mode, so people are thinking like, is that even a thing anymore? We don't know. Yeah. So I, I'm in the same boat. I didn't even play Cyberpunk. I played like the first like maybe five hours. Was not super mm. into it and just kind of quit. And I just went. Uh, so it, it can wait. But if this patch is as good as I hear, and if the DLC comes and I'm excited about that, I might be inclined to go back. But as of right now, I have no interest with all the games that my my hands right now. I I have no pull yeah, to no, go back sure. to Cyberpunk. For sure, for sure. I mean, um, I don't know, um, because we played it a little bit, but um, I'm excited, but not like crazy excited for Outriders because it comes out tomorrow. I wanna, I wanna play Mm -hmm. the story on that, and I wanna see if you join me on that. Yeah, I would. I definitely would. It's another thing though where I'm like, like I'm not crazy about the game, but I just, I just, well, I like I'm not, and I'm not gonna stick to it. Like, like you know, oh, I'm that's all I'm gonna be playing. Mm -hmm. I just want to play the story, and I'm probably gonna dip out. Yeah, they've made a big deal, and and I want your opinion. You know on me, this. I like what, stories. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I want your opinion on this. Uh, uh, they've made it a big deal. Uh, Square mm-hmm. Enix has that this isn't a um, games as a service game, and okay. it, what it is, I guess, is just a, a regular game. Now I know people there are like, well, then you know, it's easy. It's just a regular game. It just it comes out and, and it's released. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird though with its the way it's still made though it still looks like a games of service but they keep saying it's not so does that mean mm. there's just not microtransactions in the game is that what they're trying to say I don't know so I'm still kind of confused on what their whole mm-hmm. way they're combating this this game in and like how their marketing is because I'm still kind of confused on what the game is trying to be they say it's not a games of the service but it still looks and smells like a games of the service to my point of view but again maybe they're stating there won't be any sort of like pay to play mechanics or something like that I don't know yeah I'm I'm not sure I mean I would I guess we'll just have to check it out um yep. Yeah, I'll I give mean, it a who try. Knows? It, depends, sure. it depends if maybe it'll, if it gets that, uh, what's the word, that audience to where like it just keeps going and it's like, oh, the people obviously want to keep playing this. Maybe they'll add more things. And maybe they'll even add it, add games as a service if they can do that later on. Yeah, maybe. And maybe they just wanted to make it clear like, hey, like you can just play the game. You don't have to do the things. So maybe that's what they're doing. Um, yeah. It definitely seems like a, play with a buddy though i i I doesn't i I don't think i'd play it at all without someone to play with i don't think Mm -hmm. um let's move on to our actual stories for the week now call of duty was leaked this happens every year um Mm -hmm. and it was leaked well surprising to me is actually the setting i wasn't expecting this so it's being made by sledgehammer it looks like it's it was leaked by i think uh, a website called Modern Warzone, I think is what it was called, which is like, okay, all right. I didn't know that even existed, but okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's leaked by them. It's codenamed Vanguard, again, being made by Sledgehammer. What I think is interesting is being actually made in Modern Warfare's engine for, of course, 2019's Modern Warfare. That surprises me and excites me because I love how that game looks and plays. So if it is mm-hmm. being used with that engine and you're giving me similar game feels, I'm very excited. Now, yeah, for sure. Caveat, really quick. Okay. Same per- people who r- r- leaked the game said that the entire game. This is a quote straight from them. So, quote: the entire game takes place in an alternate timeline, where uh, where in 1945, uh, World War II did not end, and it's set in the 1950s. Now, this has been disputed by other outlets, saying this isn't true mm-hmm. and wasn't and, and could not get that verified with their sources. So f- weird that they got the leak, but weird that the 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 actual leak was might be incorrect. I'm curious on what that is. It is a sledgehammer that made Call of Duty World War II, mm-hmm. so it looks like they're getting another like release of a World War II like game. Interesting. Does this yeah, excite I mean, I, you? In I, my opinion, no, I yeah, wasn't I, really in the I mood like the for idea. another World War Two. And now, and see, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, I'm not in the mood for another World War Two. But if it's an alternate timeline type of thing, to where, like, you know, for example, 
uh, like Wolfenstein, yeah, you know, how, like, like that's an ultimate. Yeah. yeah, it's like alternate. I, I I can see that, and I'm glad that they're using the Modern Warfare's engine and not uh, Cold Wars because I didn't really care for Cold Wars engine. Mm-hmm. It was okay, but it was just I, I I think I like Modern Warfare's engine better. Yeah, me too. Um, but um, I'm I'm excited to see if maybe I, now the thing is I don't know if they'll incorporate. Uh, you know, I wish what they would do, even though it's it's it'll be weird. Uh, they would go into the whole zombies thing and how that started. Like I know, I know you get the stories through the maps and look at Rick Toffin and all that, but yeah. I want to play. I want to play that. I want to be like you know the story is, you know Rick Toffin Dempsey, and you actually play like how it started or how he went mad. Like mm-hmm. I want to see that. That'd be cool. Okay, I could I could see that. You got me actually kind of happy for that. That sounds that that would sound fun. Like almost like mm. a, a zombie origin thing. Yeah, yeah like, like I'd rather have a zombie origin more Call of Duty. It'd be like I mean, even though you know it's oh it's not Call of Duty anymore because you know it's not you know a war thing, but I mean you know they've done that for what ten twenty years now. I mean like I mean hmm. change it a little bit now. I mean go I mean I honestly I like the zombies stories better than the sto- campaign half the time. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, it, it can be really compelling. I I loved mm. You're going to have to tell me if this cuz we played them all together. It was Black Ops 1. Okay. That was like the that's the one with the you you, uh, you go to Cuba and Fidel Castro dies. I think I think I'm talking about Black Ops 2 then. 2 is the futuristic one with uh no, it's the sequel uh, to one because it still has the same. Guy. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. You're two is yeah, see, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, two is the sequel to one, and you actually play. I think you still play as Alex Mason, yeah. and then you're still seeing Reznov as like yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, a vision, yeah. like a weird vision. Yeah. So I liked yeah. that zombies. I I think cause that's when they really started getting like nerdy with it. Yeah, I I mm-hmm. think. Um, so I I would I love st- to see. I like, still love Black Ops One Zombies. Uh, uh, the just Kino, yeah, just Kino, man. Well, that one and which one? I thought it was in Black Ops One. Maybe it was in Black Ops Two. Which one is the one in, where it's like the the all the horror movie people and George Romero, George Romero was the main villain and he kept chasing you and it was that like was, in a snowy area. That was for sure too, right? Was that too? Yeah. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Go, go, do a quick Bing search. We haven't said that in a while. Look at being searched, <laughs> make sure. But I'm pretty confident I was too, because I remember that being in the marketing, and that was like such a huge deal. Uh, Call of the, it's called Call of the Dead. Yes. Uh, was Call it? of the Dead was in Black Ops, the first one. That was the first one. Mm-hmm. Really. Mm-hmm. That must have been. Yeah, that's why. That I must have been I'd... an expansion then. It, yeah, it was just DLC. It was like one of the maps, to, you know, the one that came out. That was uh, you Black know, Ops they... one. Uh yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that blows my mind. I could, I would have bet yeah. money it was two. It just doesn't feel right in my head. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I remember no, the hype of like, know. oh, the zombies has like a. Uh, no, yeah, it I was guess it, the... I guess Black Ops One is I guess right because yeah, because Call of the Dead the is the marketing. first zombie map since Five that has you playing as different characters, and it had Danny Trejo, Sarah Michelle yeah. Gellar, Robert Englund, that was from, awesome. and yeah, and Michael Rooker. Yeah, to, like that map was one one of my favorite maps like that I ever played. Do you, do you remember Black Ops ended with you playing as the presidents and not in the zombies game? That that's five. That's, yeah, that's that was nuts. Yeah, that's five. That, that yeah. was nuts. I I I was watching it like you were, what is you happening? Were in the, you were in the Pentagon. Yeah, you were in the Pentagon. Oh my god, that was nuts. I can't. I would love to see that made again. Like re, re, oh yeah, no, I say if, if they would if they would make a if they would remake Black Ops one and two, uh, with like like the new engine. Oh, that'd, yeah, that'd be, be so cool. That'd be that would be pretty dope yeah that'd be great that'd be pretty dope. moving on two sides of 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 a coin interestingly was announced within a few day period seems almost intentional i want i want the achievers opinion on this comment below if you think this was intentional because i think it was um so backwards compatibility was announced for xbox gamepad ultimate members to play on the cloud right so Today, Xbox announced it will be releasing a number of backwards compatible games to its fledgling service, Xbox Cloud Gaming. And remember, that's still in beta, so it still has beta around it. Um, and they released a brief statement. I'm going to spare you guys the actual details of the same, and it was, you know, I've padded. I'm just going to give you what the games are coming out. So, these are the backwards compatible games that are playable on Xbox Cloud Gaming. So, if you have an Android device, you can play these right now. Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Tooie, Double Dragon Neon, Fable 2, which is pretty hype, 
Fallout New Vegas, Gears of War 2, 3, and Judgment, Jetpack Refueled. This has touch controls enabled. That's cool. uh, I forget the pronunciation of this. Cameo? Cameo? Something like that. Cameo or something. Perfect Dark and Perfect Dark Zero. Aeroskulls 3 and 4. So Morrowind and Oblivion. And Viva Pinata 1 and Viva Pinata. What was it? Uh, something in Paradise. I forget what it's called. Um, and both of those have touch controls. Both Viva Pinata games. Now, before we get into that, conversely. We got announced that the PlayStation Store is closing down its PS3 and PSP stores in July. And in August, the Vita stores will be closed. So you will no longer be able to access the PlayStation Store purchase functionality on a PS3, PS Vita, and PSP past August. July, of course, for the two that I I said previously. Now, I love how different... Those two statements mm-hmm. are from those two companies. One stating that you will no longer oh, be able to purchase yeah. these backwards power games, and Xbox mm-hmm. saying you will now be able to move those games move, yeah. in the future of cloud gaming with you. With you now, that's crazy. I know some people are saying, but PS Now. Obviously, we both, me and Alex, both know PS Now exists. It mm-hmm. sucks. Let's stop yeah. pretending it doesn't. It sucks, mm-hmm. especially for what it's supposed to be. Every time someone says anything about backwards compatibility, PlayStation goes, we have PS Now. No one likes it. it you might as well not say anything. No. Mm-hmm. That being said, Alex. Yes. Does this excite you? Do you care that PS3, PSP, PSP, the game uh, stores um, are being closed down? Yes cetera, and no, so. because I mean... As much as I haven't played my Vita in so long, I still don't want it to die. No, oh. like I'm, it, it, like it kills me. Like, oh, like, okay, so this this is officially Vita's dying. Yeah. So like, it just sucks. And um, I mean, some people, some people are still rocking the PS3. And, yeah. Uh, the P, the, I didn't know the PSP one was still going on. I, I, me I, I couldn't even get connected on my PSP. It wouldn't even let me connect to the store. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, that's pretty wild that they're closing the PSP and the Vita around the same like month period. Yeah, I'm like, well, it's that, nuts. That, that's nowhere close to release date. So that's crazy that they're anywhere close to each other. Yeah. So, but yeah, other than I mean, for the like for the Vita, it just kills me because I'm like, maybe one day it'll come back. But no, it's it, not. It's a sh- it's a shame what happened now. Mm-hmm. I won't pretend like I'm a staunch Vita supporter. I have mm-hmm. I I love the Vita and I love having one. That being said, yeah. I've used it a bunch. I am shocked that PlayStation will just let Vita die. I'm I'm that's shocking oh, to sure. me that PlayStation, Sony, whatever you want to call call them, will will would let an entire side of the market die because it's hard. I mean, that's the only reason I could come up with. They couldn't figure out the Vita. It died be- for various reasons, majority because of their I mean, look at terrible the Switch. memory they, card. They were, right? People were able to figure out the Switch. Well, They should have just made a Vita that had a bigger screen. Well, all they really had to do to make Vita survive is first off support it because it wasn't being supported in the first place they <laughs> they left they let it die like what they make it they make it where you can like use less. an sd card yeah of course of course yeah that, that was the oh. that was the thing yeah yeah now yeah. alex is starting to get upset you can hear it in his voice <laughs> you know how long it took me to figure out how to get a 32 gig card and how expensive it was mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah they're like 60 bucks yeah i remember now mm. The, the, there's a bunch of uh, of things to talk about this. It's a shame that PlayStation and Jim Ryan himself, the CEO of of uh, Sony Interactive, has specifically stated he does not care about backwards compatible games. He made up a he I <laughs> and I don't want to be mean to this gentleman. I don't know who he is and I've never met him. Mm-hmm. But he brought up a very you if you think this is real you are missing the point sir and you're leaving money on the table but he brought up uh one time he was being interviewed about it he was at a uh uh, uh some showing of game or something and he saw gran turismo like two three and four playing i'm butchering this recollection but he essentially said i saw them playing they looked terrible i don't know why anyone would play these play old games anymore yeah, and if you if he's being honest with that statement, he he is either kidding himself, 
or he's making an excuse. No one, no one is saying I want to play Gran Turismo like one again. Yes, that's a small amount. All we're asking for is why can't I play Infamous right now? Mm-hmm. Why can't I play uh, Ratchet Clank into the Nexus or whatever on PS3? Yeah. Why can't I play? I mean, there's a God of well, War it, one. Like why? Right like, after, why is it such an issue on the PlayStation Store? Again, we can go back to the cell processing in the PS3. That's why mm. it made it so difficult development well, for things. It's like, crazy because they can get so much more money doing this because, like, with Xbox, they add all those games backwards compatibility, and then there's games on there that you can buy, yep. and then you can still play them. Like with PlayStation, if they would have made those backwards compatibility. I would buy God of War one and two, mm-hmm. Chains of Olympus if it was available. Mm-hmm. I would, I would buy. I don't own Infamous one and two. I would buy them and go play them because I've never played them. And one day I'll be like, oh, you know, um, if my daughter wants to get into gaming and she wants to yeah. try them, I have the option to do that now. Yeah. Right now, I don't have a PS3. I can't. She can't play that. Yeah, and also that that's another thing. I think that the point was is like, oh, just take your PS3 out, bro. No one's taking a PS3 out, plugging it up, going through the printer settings, on like garbage on that thing. Yeah, that thing is like, that thing is yeah, an abomination like, now. Like half the time, people don't even own those systems anymore. To because I got rid of a lot, almost all my systems, just to get the new ones. Yeah, yeah. So I, I again, it, not trying to beat up on the man, but either he's being disingenuous. Oh, I am. <laughs> either he's being disingenuous, or oh, he's no, making up being an excuse. No, no, he's one of the. Uh, I'm even gonna say he's one of those guys. He's like, oh, nobody cares about the past. Just I want, I just want new games. Yeah, yeah, and again, I, I don't think he's being completely honest with everybody. But Mm-mm. nope. Praising Xbox, they they're doing what it is. I mean, oh, the yeah. amount of times I've played an old game, good for mm-hmm. them. Sony people, sorry, you can't play your games. It's lame. Yep. Oh yeah, there's Raptors in Fortnite now. Um, I I woke up today. Alex sent me. There's Raptors, and I, and I watched the trailer. There's literally a Raptor running around, and I was like, oh wow, okay. There's Raptors you know, in this I'm game. So I did. I am to go. Like now, now it kills me because I'm like, is like, can I can I do anything with them other than kill them? Because I'm like, can I can uh, like can, is can there gonna be, be a friend playing? Can you be afraid? Yeah, can you do something with it? Like, mm. if it's just there just to kill it, I'm like, nah, that, you know, that's kind of... Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I don't know. Even if there, like, maybe there was an emote with one, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, yeah. You, like, have a... a like, you're, like doing a little, little, you're doing the Jurassic Park yeah, thing where you're, like, like stopping. Little, mm-hmm, like a little raptor buddy. Mm-hmm, yeah. that'd be cool. But, you know, this isn't WoW or Star Wars. We can't have companions in this game. No, 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 of course not. That'd be great, though. I wouldn't be surprised if they made like a, a little baby velociraptor like back bling, right? I, oh man, like I a little hope. velociraptor on your back, and, like going they like did they did a, they did a hamster. <laughs> I mean, they, come on, they like they they I, I want a raptor. When they put pets in Fortnite, I thought that was gonna be a way bigger deal. I was like, they're gonna make so much money off this. They're gonna put and they stopped doing it. I was I thought they were you're gonna get like a baby dragon. I thought you were gonna get so many things. Oh, you were they, get, have like, a, a dra- they have a dragon back blink, but that's well, not I, a compa- I mean, well, I know you do, but like I thought the pet thing was gonna keep coming. Like here's different no, colors, sure. here's it, this, there's that, and they kind of no, just stopped. They're, they're, Epic is doing that thing right now. We're like, okay, that was in the past. So we're moving on to something else. So we're never here's, going back. Here's to like again. all. Here's a here's every '80s movie ever. <laughs> like when was the when was the last time we saw the the hoverboard like the 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 the, the big skateboard hoverboard thing? That was like season what? Uh, now, even, the chapter even, one season like I don't five. Even remember we talking about achievers? No idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no that's idea. how long it's been. Yeah, it's been a while. Now moving on. I want to talk real quick. There was like a two, three hour indie thing for Xbox. It was an idea Xbox event and it was like two, three hours. I am not watching that. I'm sorry, Achievers. I'm not. <laughs> I, I just read a breakdown and I saw a, a a really cool Game Pass trailer that showed off the games uh, because it just could not keep my interest. And I was like, I can't devote like two and a half hours to watch this. So <laughs> I, I stepped away and instead good, brought you everything that's coming into Game Pass that I, that uh, because, of course, that's the exciting part to me. And I was like, okay, I'm getting these games, no extra cost to what I'm paying for right now. So, mm-hmm. starting at the top, it's going to be a minute, so give me a second. <gasps> Art of the Rally, Astria Ascending, Backbone, Boyfriend Dungeon, Craftopia, mm-hmm. Dead Static Drive, Edge of Eternity, Hello Neighbor 2, Lib- Library of Runia, 
Little Witch in the Woods, Moonglow Bay Recompile, Narita Boy, Nobody Saves the World, Omno, Recompile, Sable. Yeah, yeah, what? what is, uh, that's weird. Um, yeah, it's Recompile and Moon Moonglow Bay Recompile. I wonder if that's uh, a miss, um, type by the thing can you because i'm pretty sure we compile is not behind it can gotcha. you google moon glow bay i that that should just be moon glow moon glow bay gotcha. um sable she dreams elsewhere stalker to the ascent undungeon way to the woods wild at heart now of course that was in alphabetical order that is in no way um release order or anything like that and uh just about everything i said is available nope yeah, everything I said is available on Xbox Series X and S. Some of them mm-hmm. are Xbox One and uh, cloud gaming. So, yeah, it's supposed to Moonglow Bay. They must have I thought so. Typed in yeah, it, I figured it was incorrect because I because I I've heard of Moonglow Bay. I I was like, there's no way recompiles in that. So, mm-hmm. um, Alex, I asked you to pick out a couple games that you liked from the thing. Did you get anything? I will go first. Um, Astria Ascending was the one I liked a lot. That looks super yes. cool. Um, it is a RPG, almost it like, like it looks. It looks like Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler, like for sure, is is the vibes I got from Astria Ascending. I want to see if I can find a quick um image to show the audience. Alex, what were what was the game you 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 uh, jumped um, out at you? I wasn't even on this list, um, because I don't think it's Game Pass. So it's like, not uh, Game Pass, I, yeah. I, I which is weird because I felt like I read somewhere it was the mm. the second the 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 raptor or the dinosaur killing one. Mm, do you remember the uh, name? I don't remember the name. I, I you showed it to me and I'm blanking on what it was called. Let me see. Sure, game. Uh, I think it's called Second Extinction. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Second, second extinction. extinction. Yep. 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 Yes. Yep. Yes, and this, cool. this game is coming to Game Pass uh, next month. So yeah. Uh, yeah, Second Extinction, that's the one. Yeah, it comes out. It, it'll be hitting Game Pass on April 28th. Dope. Now, I, free, now I want to show the achievers this game because this game. looks sick. This looks super sick. Oh, the Australia? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to show them really quick. Cool. So I'm going to put it right there for you guys, and I'm going to start playing it. Look at this. Look at this game real quick. Uh, for audio listeners, again, just picture Octopath, but I almost... It's almost a little more. What's the word I'm looking for? Like three D art. Yeah, much more animated too. Yeah, they they look much more like people aside from that kind of two point five D pixel art kind of thing they got going. Yeah. So this is way more kind of a three D model. Oh, Final Fantasy X. Okay, I didn't know Najima Sun was uh, working on this. Mm-hmm. Oh, but they made Final Fantasy Seven. Okay. Oh God, what is that? Jesus. Yeah. See, look. I love this kind of art style that's flat but it gives it some depth too like yeah this mm-hmm. right here this reminds you a lot of child of light if you guys ever played that on, um mm-hmm. uh from ubisoft oh, another game uh 12 minutes remember yeah that one? oh god 12 minutes oh my Which god is- i watched a, a gameplay of that in mm-hmm. 20 like 10 Dude, it's crazy because there's some the three main actors, voice actors are. It's mm-hmm. da- da- Daisy yeah, they Ridley. Cha- they changed it, yeah. The foe, and then there's, there's one more. I forget who the. It's other one another was. big celebrity. I don't. Yeah, remember. it's another big celebrity, and I'm like, oh wow. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This looks awesome. I cannot wait for this. Mm-hmm. And it's coming to Game Pass. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, look at that. Look at that lineup. That looks so cool. Mm-hmm. As you're sending in, look very fine. I mean, Final Fantasy, right? Like, oh, from, like to the T, finishes. to the T with this little art right here. Cannot wait for this. So that yeah. comes out uh, sometime this year, and it will be coming to Game Pass, Series X, and S, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch. So if you have a system, you will be able to play it. Yep. All right. There was Alex. one more game, and I just can't remember. Yeah, what you it was. gave me like three. I, I he, he was he, Alex. I call him an overachiever you see what i did there mm-hmm. i call him an overachiever i, I was like oh, yeah pick a game if you want he comes back with three i was like oh you did a lot of work you make me look bad <laughs> but uh you said second extinction and um 12 minutes so 12 far. minutes oh my god achievers yeah. 12 minutes is i am so excited for that i'm actually gonna get go really quick see if i can pull up another trailer for that 12 minutes is like a um uh it's like groundhog's day uh but but a video game uh so it's mm. it's uh, it's like a oh geez this is not up oh, here's the game okay cool um this is an old trailer but i'm gonna sh- i'm gonna just show you guys anyways 
uh, because it hasn't changed much um, with what was uh, shown earlier. So it's very simple mechanics. Like essentially it is like, it's like uh, you fail a bunch and try to figure out what the game is kind of thing. Um, there we go. Let's watch the trailer real quick because mm. this looks really cool. Uh, James McAvoy was the third, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yep. So it starts see. off. It, it's like it's like this couple, um, I think, celebrating their anniversary or something. And it's and it's always a little different. He comes back like, look, yeah, he's getting handcuffed. And you're trying to figure out how to get out of the loop. Because it just keeps happening over and over again. So first off, you start the game. You know, you, of course, fail it. Start over the loop. Do something slightly different every time. Yes, you look like she's dying in that one. Like, what? Like what's going on? Like, this oh, is- I've... I figured out what the last one was. It's um, it's called Edge of Eternity. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty much an old school RPG, and it's kind of like it's kind of like a J, uh, like a classic JRPG, and it resembles a lot of Star Ocean or Fantasy Star, but it looks super cool. It reminds me of a uh, um, like Last it, it Remnant. You remember like- Last Remnant, Alex? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was, it was like a it was like a okay RPG, a very JRPG mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Here's Edge of Eternity for the YouTube watchers. Um, Sorry, audio list. This is a crappy segment for you guys. But if you want to check out the trailers with us, just head over to YouTube. Yeah. It was. um, Yeah, because it was. I was. It was between. Because I was thinking that, and if I was in the Soulsy mood again, there's a. It's called Death's Door, and it's kind of like a Soulsy type, like a top-down game, and it it looked interesting. Hmm. But yeah, that was the that was the few we wanted to spotlight for you guys. Yeah. So you didn't have to watch that whole thing. You know, those those looked if really cool. If you're interested, that's, that's, you, know, you go watch it. Yeah. Oh, She Dreams Elsewhere was a really cool looking one. Mm-hmm. Um, Boyfriend Dungeon looks unique. It looks <laughs> actually kind of fun. I might play it. And Moon Glow, but Moon Glow Bay also looks very yeah. fun. I'm, I'll I'll be make sure to try all those out and give you guys some reviews when they come out. Alex. Yeah. That's the news for the week. Now, I like to end every episode with. Kind of like a calming sensation. We want to. We want you to go into the weekend relaxed. Know mm-hmm. that you can go achieve just like we are. But before that, I want to remind you: remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. That's all the free ways that you can help us. Audio listeners, remember five star review. Make sure to subscribe on all the platforms you listen to us too. Even if you don't listen to us, hit a subscribe if you have a YouTube channel. Just to you know, help with that algorithm. Now. Patreon.com, dollar, all that fun stuff. Alex, mm. what are you going to play over the weekend? Now, we kind of already went into this. We're going to probably play mm-hmm. some more League. You said you wanted to try out Outriders. So there isn't, mm-hmm. I think, too much to say right now. But anything else you want to share? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm probably going to play some more Apex because I was playing some on PC since my uh, like my computer could run it. Yeah. So I wanted to give it a shot. And so I was trying it out. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go play. I'm going to I'm go play with the with the squad on Xbox. Mm-hmm. So, and then, I, like, I might do that tonight because there was supposed to be an event that came out yesterday, but they delayed it. Really? Yeah, they delayed it. It's called, it was called the... I miss the, this. It was the Chinatown. The Chinatown Market or Takeover or something like that? Yeah. Here, let me see if I can find Yeah, please find it. that for me. I, I miss that. I can't believe I missed that. I'm usually on yeah. top of uh, the news, uh, especially when it's included in Apex. Um uh, but but for listeners out there, it's it's a it's like a new event where they just release a bunch of skins and things. If you're not into Apex, you know, you yeah, so tune out. Of it, course. Yeah, they were this. Yeah, the Apex Legends skins were delayed after the company because the company was called the Chinatown Market. Yeah, and uh, that's where they were. They 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 changed their name during the uh, like they were designing all the skins and everything. Yeah. So that yeah, Chinatown Market re- was rebranding. So now Apex has to redesign their skins. Um, so this is uh, over at Game Rant by Bishop Lister, and it says Apex Legends redesigning skins due to Chinatown Market rebranding. Uh, recently collaborated with a popular clothing brand, Chinatown Market, to release a collection of Apex Legends skins themed after the Chinatown Market brand. Uh, they were scheduled to release March 30th, but the release has been delayed due to the rebranding of a clothes company. In the light recent rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans, the clothing brand has announced a name change from Market... Uh, from Chinatown Market, the clothing brand's former name is inspired by the shops, people, and vibrance of Canal Street and Chinatown in New York. Huh. So uh, they're check- yeah. So they're gonna so rebrand, changed- and they probably requested like, "Hey, don't." Yeah. We're gonna change. They were all partnered this. with that. Yeah. In 
Interesting. And there's a whole there's a, there was a whole thing on uh, like a little story on Twitter um, by Re- uh, at, uh, if you go to response page and it says in support of our friends at Chinatown it's a decision to rebrand they're holding the launch. Huh. And they said they're good. the skins will come back with a fresh look after the rebrand. So I was like, cool. I mean, I, I'm right. glad that they're respecting that. Yeah, they're respecting the rebrand, I guess. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm interested if there's any more to that story. But they're yeah. very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. I, I, I almost want to read more on that. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of that. That was like, it seemed very last minute. I mean, like, yeah. what did they, they get had, announced like the had, day before? They had showed off two skins. They showed off a. I saw lifelines. They saw and lifelines, and they had a bloodhound, and he had like a cowboy hat, and it said Chinatown market on top, mm. and it a cowboy hat like it was black, and it had like these like little strings coming down the bottom, and he was like red and yellow and black, and he he looked cool. Huh. Yeah. Well, I, I oh, thank you for telling me. I didn't know that. I just assumed it was already out. Yeah, because I, oh. I got on yesterday to try it out, and it saw that it got delayed. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Well. Okay, well, uh, date update for you. Chinatown market update <laughs> did get delayed. Um, uh, yeah, uh, for what I'll uh, be moving to this weekend, I mean, more league. I'm, again, really into that. I need to keep playing mm-hmm. some Valorant. I want to get a little mm-hmm. better at that. Again, more PC gaming. I'm getting more yeah, and more yeah. involved in it. This is fun. Uh, yeah. I've, I've really never played PCs before. Um, I, mm-hmm. I really only use them passively, of course, for work and things like that so never really use it for gaming this is very fun i mean there's so many like, games see, like that before, that i have on my fingertips before i had my xbox this is real pc was really all i used to play on but mm-hmm. back then it was like um because i was little so it was the, just the there was like this rpg game that actually came with the the computer mm-hmm. um and then there was uh of course gta vice city for some reason i used to love playing that one on my computer so i would just right. play those and then quake of course yes yeah you're a huge fan of quake yeah and it which is crazy because i'm I, i'm not as i don't care for it as much as i like i like it more than doom yeah yeah like it's, it's always weird. interesting that you tell me that because it feels it looks the exact same to me yeah he even uses the same guns sometimes oh yeah yeah for sure it's just I don't know. I had the guys have to be in the mood because I literally was gonna download uh quake champions to try it and I was just like I'll play it later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I don't know. I've just been so bu- I've been having fun with what we're playing. Well, thank you so much, Achievers, for listening, staying this long. Remember, we love you. And also, remember, play some games, enjoy it. Leave a little. It's a, It's been slow. I would say this beginning of the year. I mean, incredibly slow mm-hmm. uh, for new game releases. In the comments below, what have you been playing? I'm interested. Have you been going back to old things? Have you not even been playing? Have you been stepping back? I've done that plenty of times before, where you're just not even playing because you're just not in the mood. What have you? What have you been doing? Is there a new game that I've missed that you've been playing? Anything? Leave a comment, Patreon post, p- Patreon DM, tweet at us at EVM nine thousand at Craven Subscriber. Until next time. Until next week, of course. Drum roll. Go, Chief. Good, Chief.